is rich in Catholic faith and tradition. Founded by Polish immigrants, parishioners here hold a oh, devout silence for picture. John Paul II, the Pope from Poland. Oops. And I wanted to be here for the experience of being that much closer to Pope John Paul. The Pope's beatification and step towards sainthood was celebrated at St. Stanislaus the moment it happened in Rome. The church's icon of the Pope now with a halo proclaiming him blessed was unveiled. And so to call somebody explicitly blessed in the church is a signification that, that their holiness is something that we can pattern ourselves after too. The mitre, an official relic because it was worn by Pope John Paul II, was given to St. Stanislaus as a gift. It was openly displayed at Sunday services. I am absolutely astonished that it's sitting here and I can sit here and actually touch it. I said, and it was worn by such a holy man. People are very fond of uh, simply, simply touching it and, and thinking of him and, and remembering him and perhaps asking him to pray with them. In 1959, then, Archbishop Carl Wojtyla celebrated his first Mass outside of Europe right here at St. Stanislaus Church. This Polish congregation has never forgotten that or the man who would become Pope. It meant a great deal at that time. We didn't think he'd ever be Pope. Patricia Zielinski, a lifelong St. Stanislaus parishioner, was at that Mass in 1969. The relics help her remember a holy man. It really gives you like a sense of being close to him and knowing that he's listening to your prayers. Maria Scully, Fox 8 News, Cleveland. Now, after the